Hello and welcome. I'm Nate 2 and in this episode I'm going to show you how to replace the iFree Mark III nozzle fan. Okay, so the other day I had an issue with the 3D printer here. What happened was the print came down on top of a print um, and the nozzle fan duct that I did have uh, broke. Not very good, not very good, not what I needed, not what I wanted. But the thing is, there is a way to fix that. And thanks to modern day uh, technology and stuff like that, most of the plastic on this printer is actually open source. And being a printer that can actually print things, uh, physical objects that is, you can print stuff for the printer with the printer. So that's what I did. Here is the fan duct that I printed with it. Now, if you want to print a very good fan duct with this, you need to use ABS. Unfortunately, ABS, even though, even though ABS is not good for your airways or your brain, I guess, maybe other things like that, potentially, ABS is probably the best one for heat until you can get other better high temperature materials. Uh, but if you're gonna be using PLA on here, ABS is the way to go. It's also low cost. ABS is uh, very low cost as well. I have a gray ABS up there. That gray ABS printed and it printed very well. Now the first time I tried this, it did not print very well. And that was because I printed one of them. As you're printing one of them, as it goes up on the screw bit over this side, um, it gets too hot and it turns into a big moldy mess of plastic and that is not exactly what you want when you're trying to print a nozzle duct or a fan duct. So there's a the trick around this that you would use with ABS anyway and that is you print two of them or three or four. You print four of them on the bed or two of them, I, did, I print two of them and what happens is it gives you enough time per layer from moving over to one to the other to one to the other for it to cool down so it can lay the next layer on very nicely. And that's what I did, that's what happened, and because of that, the print came out really well. I'm really happy with the way that it came out. Um, it probably could have been better, I'm not gonna lie, it probably could have been a bit better. Um, also, making sure you get that good bed adhesion, because uh, not always, but sometimes you can, you notice that different filaments stick differently to the bed, and you know, you do have to make slight adjustments from time to time. I don't know if I should do a video on that sometime in the future. Let me know in the comment section uh, below what you want me to do a video on next, especially regarding this printer, because um, yeah, it's always good to help other people out. Um, and yeah, I really am enjoying using this printer at the moment. I want to do another big project very soon, but at the moment, most of the time, I am printing out things for VigorQuest because it's a very big project and there's a lot of things that need to be printed for it. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me think while I'm interested. That's at Nefo42 and thanks for watching.